my last paid job ever was Oakley Week. So I'd shot it the year before. And this year, Oakley wanted to do it a little bigger where they were going to pay me for the whole week. And I was going to do all the content for them. Hell yeah. And uh, so Oakley Week ended up going super good. And ironically, Stalle was there, but his board bag got lost. So he never snowboarded. So like I never saw him really until like the last day. And like he was super intimidating. And like I knew who he was, obviously, and he had no idea who I was. On the last night, we had a party and Stalle came up to me and we were a little tipsy. And he was like, hey, Spenny, like I have an idea for a project and you might be my dude. Do you want to go to Locks in two days? And this was Saturday night. And like we were going to leave for Locks Monday morning. And I was, uh, this was my spring semester at Penn State Online Business School. So like I had paid for this on my own, like took out a loan. Like I, and then Stallways asked me to go to Europe. And of course, me being me, I say yes. And I remember on that plane, I was like pretty much committed to dropping out. And like, so sure enough, like all of my finals were due that week. And I just remember I was like, this is the opportunity I've always wanted. I'm with Stolly Sandbeck, Torgir Bergram, Alec Ostring, Len Jorgensen in Lock, Switzerland to film an RK1 video, which had only been produced by Olav Stubbard at the time. Like wow. Olav was like RK1's filmer from day one. Mm-hmm. And like Olav to this day is like one of my biggest inspirations. Like that motherfucker is seriously such an artist. It's like on another level. but. You know, here I am, Stalle, like, he didn't even want me to make the RK1 video. There was, like, another dude that was going to make the video. He just wanted to see if I could film for this project. I remember the first day we filmed, and it was kind of shitty, but I, like, stayed up all night, like, didn't sleep. I slept for, like, 20 minutes, and I made him a YouTube video, and I was like, dude, like, look, yesterday was so sick. Like, look at all these fall cams, and Stalle's, like, half asleep drinking an espresso. Like, wait, what? Like, we didn't, like holy shit, this is pretty cool. And he was down and we posted it. And then throughout that week, you know, he was like, okay, you're, you're, I, I like you, like you might be the guy for this project. And we started talking about him hiring me. And I was like, yo, like, I'm not going to work for you on a project basis. Like you got to hire me full time or I'm not doing this. Cause like I need a job. So we like, we marinated on it for a bit. And uh, that week, the other dude, Avon, who was a badass filmer as well, um, he was supposed to make the RK1 and I was just going to film it. But in my head, I was like, dude, I I have the vision for this. Like, can I edit it? And like, Stalle ended up letting me edit it. And I remember we finished filming on Friday and on Saturday, I was like 75% done with the edit and I was (laughs) supposed to go home on Sunday. But I was like, Stalle, I can like, you just fly me to Oslo and like, we'll finish it tomorrow. And then like, it'll be all good and we'll release it. So Stalle flies me to Oslo for 24 hours. I do not sleep. I've been up for like 40 hours. at this Jesus point. Christ. Fully editing. And like, I get it done in his living room. And like, I mean, he can tell you now, like, I think it was like one of his like favorite videos that like that crew's made. And pretty much then and there, he was like, all right, you're going to go home tomorrow. And then like, we're going to, I'm going to fly you back out here in three weeks and we'll come up with a plan on like what, what your deal is going to be. And, uh, and we're going to start shooting this project. God and, damn. um, and yeah, it was, it was crazy. Cause those three weeks, dude, like so much regret. Like I failed. I, I don't even know if I failed. I've never like called the school <laughs> to ask, but like I fully, I had all A's up until that point. Too. Oh, so it shit. was like, I could have just taken the finals, but in my head, I was like, I can't do the school and do the quality of work for Stale that I know is going to be necessary to get him on board right. with the idea of paying me. Yeah. So I just was like, screw it. I got the opportunity that I've literally lived for my whole life right now. Let's freaking go. Thanks for listening to this clip. Make sure to listen to the full interview, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Hit the subscribe button for more highlights and join our Black Window Cream private community for creators. Links in the description.